Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Dr. Moshmi Das, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to draw the tympanic membrane very easily. So, this is what a normal tympanic membrane looks like, and these are the structures which are visible when you do an otoscopic examination. So, I'm going to be first telling you what are the structures, which are the structures, and after that, I'm going to be showing you how to draw this very easily. So, uh, let's begin. First of all, we see over here this structure which is the handle of the malleus. As you can see over here, this long handle of the malleus and the tip of it right over here. The tip of the handle of the malleus forms a region which is known as the umbo. And because of this umbo, at this, uh, because it is retracted, the tympanic membrane is little retracted at this level, because of that, you end up seeing the cone of light, which is right over here in the antero-inferior quadrant. So this is the cone of light, which is always visible in the antero-inferior quadrant. Here you go, over here is the lateral process of the malleus. These two things are the anterior and the posterior malleal folds. And there are some structures which you can see or may not also see sometimes via the tympanic membrane. These are structures of the middle ear. So what are these structures? First of all, this over here is the shadow of the eustachian tube. You can see over here, this is the shadow of the eustachian tube. This here is the shadow of the round window and this structure here is the stapes and the incus. This region is the sh uh, shadow of the incudostapedial joint. So these three structures sometimes may be visible uh, via the tympanic membrane but also you may not be able to see it. There's nothing wrong about it. And the, this thick rim that you see all around the tympanic membrane, this structure is called the annulus tympanicus which is the end of the tympanic membrane ending in a fibrocartilaginous ring and if someone were to ask you what are the two parts of tympanic membrane the answer would be pars flaccida which is this region above the anterior and posterior malleal folds whereas the rest of it is known as the pars tensa so pars flaccida and pars tensa and uh, how do you divide the tympanic membrane into different quadrants? First, you, you see these two dotted pink colored lines. So we have to draw these two uh, dotted lines. The first dotted line goes along the long axis of the handle of the malleus. As you can see over here, this line over here is going around the long axis of the handle of the malleus. And the second line will be going uh, 90 degrees at the to this line at the level of the umbo so you see this ends up dividing the tympanic membrane into four quadrants here you see is the antero superior quadrant here you see is the antero inferior quadrant where we find the cone of the light and the antero superior quadrant we find the shadow of the eustachian tube this is the posterior inferior quadrant and this is the posterior superior quadrant which is the most important quadrant where you end up finding the shadow of the round window and the shadow of the incudostapedial joint. So this in short is what a normal tympanic membrane is supposed to look like. So now I'm going to show you how to draw the tympanic membrane. So we have a tympanic membrane on the left side and the right side. Both of them is mostly the same, but it's slight differences. I'll show you what to change. So first, what, what we know that tympanic membrane is oval in shape. So what you have to do is draw an oval structure like this with a slight tilt to the right. This is the right side of tympanic membrane. So you see the tympanic membrane actually makes an angle of 45 to 55 degree with the horizontal. And this is the right sided tympanic membrane. Now we have to draw the rim which is the annulus tympanicus along with the anterior and the posterior malleal folds and the handle of malleus. This over here ends up being the lateral process of the malleus. And this is the umbo. And this goes the cone of light. So, as you can see over here, this, re this is 
the anterior malleal fold this over here is the posterior malleal fold this here is the lateral process of the malleus this is the handle of the malleus this here is the cone of light and this is the annulus tympanicus so as you see this is very 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 easy to draw guys and I'll now show you what is the difference between the left and the right sided tympanic membrane so uh, as you see here you don't need to draw these uh, three extra structures that you're seeing via the tympanic membrane it's simple drawing of this kind will be enough for you to show any depiction so now let's move over to the left and the right one what is the difference as you can see over here this is the left sided tympanic membrane and this is the right sided tympanic membrane and you can see for the left sided tympanic membrane all you have to do differently is draw it with a tilt to the left side and on the right side with a tilt to the right side and a very easy way to remember where the cone of light will be is that on the right side the tympanic membrane light uh, in the tympanic membrane the cone of light will be at the five o'clock region as you can see here and on the left side it will be on the seven o'clock region so all you have to do is just inverse it and uh, tilt it to the left whereas for the right side tilt to the right and face it on the five o'clock position so this is how you draw the tympanic membrane now i'll be showing you correlating what i drew on the tympanic membrane with a real endoscopic picture of the tympanic membrane so you see here this here on the left side is the right eardrum and this is the left eardrum and as i already told you before on the right side as you can see it is tilted slightly to the right and you can see this is the angle this is the 45 to 55 degree angle which the tympanic membrane is making whereas on the left side you can see it is tilted to the left and this is that angle and how to differentiate also so look at the cone of the light as i had told you this here on the right side it is at the 5 o'clock position whereas on the left side it is the 7 o'clock position this is a very easy way to remember how to differentiate between the right and the left tympanic membrane and as for the structures the structures most prominent here is you can see this is the handle of the malleus this here the tip is the ambo this here is the lateral process of the malleus the region this and this is the anterior and the posterior malleal folds the region above it is the pars flaccida and the region below it is the pars tensa and as you can see this whitish rim kind of structure this is the annulus tympanicus and those three structures that i mentioned to you about those are mostly not seen via the tympanic membrane but sometimes you may end up seeing it so here you go as you have seen the it can be divided into quadrants this first line as you can see is passing along the long axis of the handle of the malleus and the second line is going perpendicular to this first line at the level of the umbo thus the tympanic membrane is getting divided into four quadrants antero superior antero inferior postero inferior and the postero superior quadrant so this is what a tympanic membrane looks like so there you go guys now you know how to make a normal tympanic membrane and as you can see it has been extremely easy and it takes barely 30 seconds to make it so now that you have learned how to draw a normal tympanic membrane in my next video i'll be teaching you how to draw the different kinds of perforations and depict it in the schematic diagram of a tympanic membrane so please guys subscribe to my channel and stay tuned and let me help you learn ent easily Thank you guys.